Gentlemen, let's talk about cleanliness. Some say it's next to godliness, some say a clean place is a safe place, and some people always talk in proverbs, which is why they don't get invited to Thanksgiving anymore. Uh, where were we? Uh, it has come to my attention that some men out there, some persons with a penis, are not keeping their privates clean. I'm not joking, I heard a whole discussion between these chicks about guys who got funk in their junk. So here's the PSA. First of all, the biggest common mistake is washing with hot water. No, bad. Warm water is the key. Hot water has a higher probability of drying out your skin, making it flaky, which means dead skin cells hanging about your pubes and your underwear creating smell. Gentlemen, if you have foreskin, you're a hoodlum. Are you cleaning it regularly between the folds, or are you just letting it sit there like day-old Parmesan? Bro, what are you doing? Clean. Use gentle, soft wipes that don't have any insane chemicals or alcohol in them and do it every day. Now, cleanliness also means order, but before we get into shaving, because I don't know, maybe you're a porn star from the 70s, in which case I would very much like to shake your hand, but also I, I don't know where that hand has been. A regular application of a penile cream that was specifically designed to rejuvenate the skin and keep it hydrated like man one man oil is the helping hand you want on your dick because at the end of the day, proper care of the cock leads to you being out there in the world showing it to everyone who wants you to and not listening to me about cleanliness. Okay. Back to the bush. You want to grow out that rainforest, have at it. If anything, at the rate we're cutting down trees on this planet, we could use a few still growing. But properly grooming it, washing it, keeping it clean is also key to maintaining penile health. The natural purpose of hair is to capture debris, smells, it's to protect. But we're not running around in the jungle in cloth napkins anymore. We're swinging around in jeans on the subway. So let's make sure that at the same rate you're washing the hair on your face, you're washing the hair on your waist. You might be asking yourself, why is this guy getting so worked up about this? Because it's 2022, bordering on 2023, and the fact that we don't teach proper hygiene in school is because we'd lose too many teachers, let's be honest. But also, I don't want to hear a group of chicks talking and saying the words dick cheese ever. Keep it clean.